Hi, Jerry Thompson here with a look at the Concrete 5 blog. You should have already signed in. Go to your blog page. And the blog consists of three parts. You have the summary page, which is this page where you see all the little short teasers to get you to click and see if you want to look at the rest of the blog or the article. You have the blog page itself, and then you also have the comment area on the blog page. We're going to cover each one briefly. To look at this page, to set it up, you click Edit Page. You'll see the standard red boxes that you can edit. Left click on the blog area, click Edit and you'll see the edit page list. Here you can display the number of summaries you want on this page. Uh, most of the rest of it you can pretty much leave alone. However, you might want to dictate where the information is being pulled from. Now if you only have one blog on your website then it's really not much of a problem, but if you do have multiple blogs, if you want to keep things separate, then you might want to specify beneath this page or beneath another page. If you click beneath another page you will be given an opportunity to select the page that you want it to be under. But for this blog we're going to say beneath this page. We're going to choose the order and here are your choices. Sitemap order, most recent first, earliest first, alphabetical, or reverse of alphabetical. And for our purposes here, I'm just going to pick the most recent first. Do you want to provide an RSS feed? If you do, keep it yes, give it a title, give it a short description, and that option will be available to the people coming to see your blog. If you don't want to do that, then check no and they won't see anything. Update when you're done. Exit. And publish your results to keep them. To add a new blog, I go to the dashboard, go to the sitemap, find your blog. I'm going to expand it here so you can see the blog entry. So here are the different blog entries. Left click on your blog, say add a page. Here are your different page types. The one that you want is blog entry. Click on it, give your article a name. In this case I'm just going to say test article. At least under the meta title I would say add a title. I'm going to say myc5demo.com test article. Scroll down add the page and now go visit the page left click and visit here is your the page that you're going to add your article as you can see it's got a bunch of text here click edit the page and you'll see three areas that you'll need to do something with the first block is the summary block this is what's going to appear on the main blog page. Down here will be the rest of your article and then you have your common area. And so just to demonstrate we're going to click this, we're going to edit I'm going to delete all this text Here's my blog article. This is what's going to go in the summary. I'm going to give this a little bit bigger title. Then I'm going to bold it and I'm going to say update. Next, go to the lower section. Get rid of all that stuff there. And here is where you type the 
rest of the article. Now you can copy and paste from Word into Concrete 5 into this edit content box. Now we're going to go ahead and say exit, publish, and we're going to go back to the main blog page to see what it would look like. And so here it is. This is the most recent article posted by me on April 5th. This is the little summary. If I want to read the full post, I click that. And now I can see here's the entire article.